Your morning commute may be tough, but a growing number of people live so far from work, the Census Bureau gives them a name, mega commuters. Chip Reed is in Arlington, Virginia, to show, up, show us those on the road for hours every day. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Nora. We're about a mile from Washington, D.C., so some of those commuters down there are reaching the end of a commute that can only be described as brutal. About one in 25 Washington area commuters are mega commuters, and the census says they come from afar, as far away as New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and the mountains of Virginia and West Virginia. It's 4 a.m. and Leslie Cordella is already dressed. It is very early. And about to walk out the door. Okay, I'm ready to go. She's been up since 3.30. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. See you later. Cordella's commute takes her from her home in Bluemont, Virginia, more than 60 miles to her office in Washington, D.C. The journey begins with a 15-minute drive. She parks her car Good morning. and trudges onto a bus with other hardcore commuters. So when you get up at 3.30, do you ever wonder what in the world am I doing? Some days, yes. Yeah. But Cordella, who says she's like a zombie on her morning commute, endures it because she loves her government job as a wildlife biologist. And she loves living far away from what she calls the land of cookie-cutter homes. You don't like suburbia? I don't, no. You like the country? I like, yes, I like wilderness and the country. A little before six, the first glimpse of Washington, where the famous landmarks elicit no response. They've seen it all too many times before. Finally, at 6.20, Cordella exits the bus for a 10-minute walk to the office. Total travel time, two hours and 20 minutes. The number of mega commuters, those who travel at least 50 miles and 90 minutes each way, is growing. There are nearly 600,000 in the U.S., with the largest numbers in San Francisco, New York, and, of course, Washington. And the Washington region has some unique factors that contribute to this. Well, the, the, the obvious one is, is all that stuff downtown, all those wonderful big white marble buildings, and, and uh, they're not going anywhere. You're not going to see a headline that says, White House moves to Rockville. You know, that's going to happen. Alan Pizarski researches commuting trends. One reason for so many people mega commuting now is the state of the economy yes it's a, it's a combination of of the present uh situation in which people are hungry for jobs may have to go longer distances for jobs for leslie cordella it's also about finding her dream home a log cabin in the virginia mountains nearly 14 hours after her day began she's finally back home but as much as Cordella and her husband love their 15-acre homestead, they do sometimes dream of a shorter commute. The plan has always been to do it for as long as we can stand it and then try to find something else. So she would love to be closer to home if she oh, could. Oh, absolutely. It would be great. It would be great. Yeah. I, do, I do have a great job. I love it, but it would be great. Now, Cordella says she does drive sometimes, but one day the traffic was so bad it took her four hours to get home. Now she's getting a bit of a break. Her federal agency allows telecommuting, so about one day every week she gets to work from home. Charlie and Nora? All right. The only interesting thing I can say is that, Nan, there are a lot of things you can do to pass the time away because of technology. Right. You could answer emails, uh, read a book, all yeah, that stuff. Watch movies, whatever. Exactly. Right. Chip Reed, thank you.